new Dahua software upon login requires a new password to be created there and then as you log in. It won't accept admin. Uh, it is 8 to 32 digit containing letters, numbers, symbols. It contains at least, at least two types. So you can see that the password security on the Dahua uh, new software has become quite uh, strict. You can't just put admin and you can't just put the numbers like we used to. So now you actually have to come up with something a little bit uh, more creative. So just for argument's sake, I'm just going to say admin one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm, I'm just making a combination of what it was. It was admin one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then I'm just for uh, interest um, for myself. So I don't forget, I'm actually just going to put it here. Right, then it asks you for an unlock pattern. Just like your Android cell phones, now you have to come up with a pattern. I'm just going to do a Z. And it will ask you again. And there we go. So now it wants you to fill in your email. And you know what the reason I want you to fill in your email is because if you forget your password, your local, sub, your local dealer is the person who will then... Um, provide you with an unlock code but how it works is that when you're trying to log into your NVR it'll ask you for if you forgot your password if you forgot your password it'll say what is your email address and this is why you have to put your email address at this point okay so these all these uh, security questions blah 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 and then you say okay And you can see that it forces you. you. You may not leave it blank. So the, the, the questions I ask are quite interesting. What is the name of your favorite food? Where did you go the first time you flew on a plane? Where is your hometown? What is your, your major in college? All right, so now it's asking you to now sign an end user agreement, which is also new. Before it wasn't like that. And then also it uh, wants you to, wants to know if it can check for updates. All right, to set up the, um, the general, that's the, uh, the general stuff. I'm not interested in that. The date and time is quite important. Uh, that's all fine. Okay. Now, the most important thing that I do in upon setting a NVR is I change the IP address. And the reason why is I prefer to set it up using the web interface. So, you know, using the mouse on the NVR is actually quite annoying. So what I normally do is I straight away uh, will go and try and set up the, uh, the, um, the network settings. Right, so I'll go main menu. I'll say, you see the rest is the same. You can see it's got this, um, it's got smart play, which is also quite new. Networks, right. So the first thing I'm going to do now is immediately change the network. Okay, so you can see the default IP address there. And on this network, it's going to be 10.0.0. And then you'll also need to set your router's IP address. The gateway is the IP address of your router. So there you go. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to let it restart. Okay, so the machine has been rebooted now. And I want to log in. Now you can see there it's asking for the login. I can do the pattern. So let's see how that works. Okay, so it accepted it. Now, I'd like to log out uh, and show you again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reboot the machine and show you the password reset procedure. Okay, so it's booted. Now I'm going to try and log in and I'm going to say forgot unlock pack pattern. And then it's going to say username and password. Now I'm just going to show you what happens if you forgot your password. If you forgot your password, it's going to ask you for an email address or security question. There's the security questions. 
Remember, I did um, answer those questions. But maybe uh, this is on a site and that the person who set it up forgot the security questions. Now, this is where the email comes into, uh, into uh, play. You'll uh, have to put your, your, it says your input security code. Now, what happens is you will get the security code from your supplier. All right, so what happens here is it says, please download Easy for IP, then from me reset device password. So what you've got to do is you've got to scan this QR code or send the QR scan results to this email. And it's support underscore rpwd at global.dahuatech.com. Reset password, that's what that stands for. And then what will happen is they'll send the security code or security code to, of the person's email who set it up. So that's very important is that the person who installed or set up this um, NVR is kind of like the only person who's going to get access to this. So you've got to remember that when uh, you are purchasing these things or if, you're, uh, if, they, if you find the new Dahua NVR in your, in your premises, you've got to get this set up. So that means that when you take over a Dahua NVR, make sure you change this to your own details. Otherwise, you'll be locating the installer and it'll be very difficult because you won't know the security questions and the security code will be sent to that person's email and not yours okay so that's how it works so if you don't know these security questions and this isn't your email then you're pretty much stuck so that's how the new password reset looks like on the Dahua I just thought I'd show you that thanks for watching I hope this has been informative and thanks for watching